we're going to talk about a work breakdown structure. To determine what is to be done in a project, we do a work breakdown structure by breaking your project down into each individual task that is going to be performed. When we break it down into each individual task, we collate all the information together and that's going to give us a WBS table. On the table, we're going to look at a task name, a unique identification number, a duration of how long the task will take, what resources are required to do the task, what cost is involved in doing the task, what relationships there are between one task and another. That is a work breakdown structure table. We have set the WBS up on cards initially, can be done anyway, a whiteboard, a sheet of paper, on a tool like Microsoft Project, can be done sticky yellow notes and put them on a wall. It's mapping out how the project is going to go. What we have here is the task name on this card, the resources that will be required for this task, the cost of what this task will be, including hiring of equipment, people or knowledge. We have a unique identification number. In this case, this one is number or letter A. We also have a duration on this card and this is one day. We have gathered a lot of our information there and we're going to do more cards for each task to determine relationships between each one. We're going to further analyse our um, WBS. We have set up a project that is six tasks. We have uniquely identified them A, B, C, D, E and F. It's a six step process and we have set them up with relationships. A must be done before B can be done. A must be done before C can be done. B must be completed before D is done. C must be completed before E is done. And D and E must be completed before F is done. So we have determined relationships. We have on each of these cards the duration. One day, one day, one day, one day, and these two tasks are two days and two days.